this is an, a fantastic opportunity for us to think about the role that schools can play in helping communities to revitalize and to recover from a very difficult period. Yeah, uh, quite um, interesting and very excited, obviously, uh, with the unveiling of, of the solar panels. We're so thankful for it. Uh, obviously, the school's financially going to gain with it. But not only financially we're going to gain with it, it's also a learning process and something that we can take to our learners and eventually take to our community, you know, with a green I know everybody, a lot of organizations, people are very excited of these eco-friendly projects. Absolute fantastic that Stellenbosch University here betrokken can be. We will very much want more to do in our community on university. Great that we with the work of the DN of the can trade, with the school, with the personnel, we can very much do more. This is one of the many initiatives in school. En ik hoop rechtig dat ons op een baie organische manier meer kan doen, meer kan bieden, samen kan werken om een klomp goed mogelijk te maken voor onze scholen en natuurlijk ook voor onze gemeenschappen. We see schools now at the heart of communities being asked to take on certain roles and provide services. And with the kind of innovation we've seen with this project, where we can address the energy crisis and schools can play a meaningful role to firstly generate some savings um, that schools desperately need, but to add more value to the communities and add to the resilience of communities. Very important. This project is a very, very pivotal project because we have now installed solar in a school that is less privileged and it enables the school to actually generate funds and to feed back into the grid. So the school is now playing a role in the larger community, which is amazing. This will absolutely have to find a way to a scalable model where we can roll out to more schools. The WCED and the Western Cape government would definitely want to be a part of this process in whatever way we can be. Um, we've appreciated being part of a community that's learning and pioneering in a space that uh, has so much potential. So we, uh, it's important to talk about the numbers, but we see moving this rapidly and at scale means that we need to forge these partnerships be very clear on the funding strategies, which we're committing to and open to talking about. And then being partnering in you know, the projects in different communities and different contexts. And so across our spectrum of schools, from the ones that are in the most difficult operating circumstances to ones we, you know, we can rely on to also contribute to developing these projects. Across the spectrum of diverse schools, we'd want to encourage this initiative to take flight um, and that will have the full support of the WCED going forward. We're excited that we can be part of it and obviously also very thankful uh, for the Partners University of Stellenbosch, Green X, and everybody involved. Um, I know that they also have partners um, and also the, 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 the colleagues, the schools that has been involved in supporting this program. Uh, we're very thankful for that. The next thing for Green X is to evaluate this project and to help the scaling of such a project to the surrounding areas and the schools they're in and also look at a provincial type of rollout. But it is important to do the smart metering first, have the efficiency interventions take place, and then to do so. It's just exciting to have all these people here, uh, all these dignitaries, uh, people that uh, can make a difference and can still, and we hope that we can um, just prolong and, and have this relationship into the future uh, where we can go green, uh, as our school is known as the, as the green school in Plutusville.